Using an internal source is just as easy. As before, choose an empty sound slot to record into by selecting it with its pad. Now hit the sampling button to enter sample mode. This time we'll sample one of machine's own patterns as an audio loop, so I'll choose internal for the sampling mode. The second knob will allow you to choose what you want to record, the master signal, or a particular group. I'll choose Give It To Me Kit, since it has the drum pattern I'm interested in. Now for the mode setting, notice there is a value called Sync. This will automatically start and stop the recording based on a certain number of bars. This is an excellent way to get a perfectly cut loop. So after choosing Sync, I'll turn the fourth knob, which controls the bar length, and I'll set it to one bar. Now, the great thing about sync mode is that it will wait for an even bar line to begin recording, even if the transport is already engaged. So, I can hit start at any time, and it will automatically punch in at the right place and punch out after one bar. We now have a perfectly cut loop that can be triggered by the pad that we recorded onto. As before, we could make adjustments to the envelope and loop it if we like.